my hand, Anna. <laughs> um, well, when we were listening to the company the last two days, we wanted to make a kind of collage of what we heard. But now, after La Fange was left, I'm going to make a very small, very small introduction. <laughs> Um, it seems that, well, we in Greece are traumatized, um, but because um, uh, we are hurting, basically we can't look back in the past, in this moment, because the wound is still open, so we can't really see what happened and what made us um, be in this situation. <laughs> Anyway, so um, Bound Exhibition presented 13 artists from the Balkan region. Uh, in this presentation, archive diary, Maria and I uh, will present the interconnections between the concept of the exhibition, the creative curatorial process that we have followed through, and the final result. Uh, we won't talk about the works individually, uh, but we will try to highlight some main issues. Uh, looking back, we have realized that there was a continuous flute in between concept, process, result. Uh, we will speak from our experience and we might contradict ourselves because we don't want to and we can't speak as artists, since we are not, uh, but only as artists that curated other artists' work. Um, our presentation may sound self referential but we will speak in such a way uh, because we do believe that personal is political state. Um, okay. One common belief is that the ideas and the process and the form of the content should more or less coincide or coexist. Uh, and one more, maybe the last, is that we dislike works that are potentially serious and they don't incorporate at least the grain of doubt. So doubtfulness, as well as humor and sarcasm, were elements that we've been searching through. Weirdly, when I had started to uh, write these lines, I thought that the three of us, me, Maria, and Sophia, who uh, couldn't be here uh, today, uh, were very different in terms of the step approach, philosophical and idealistic, in from different backgrounds. I was looking back and remembered uh, all the difficulties that we had confronted. Uh, all the arguments and the delays. Lots of arguments. We have constantly to overcome our micro limits. And here I am, realizing that this phrase from the curatorial text saying um, negotiate issues of how to define and abolish limits, divisions, and restrictions, or the PS in the end, the exhibition bound demanded a lot of small shifts of positions and limits from all of its participants. There weren't only thoughts and words and blah, 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 but essential parts of how to organize and co-curate the show, as well as how to coexist with somebody else, or more intellectually in Lacan's way, the other, by showing tolerance, understanding, putting aside selfishness, and looking towards a common main target with all the risk that this might help. Through all these small and bigger shifts, we have managed to create a common field of thinking and doing, and this common ground was wider than it seemed during the whole process. I will not speak a lot about our first intentions when we had decided to do an exhibition with this particular subject, because um, I will bump into commonplace issues that I'm not responsible to analyze. Uh, but, well, yes, um, the socio-political and financial crisis in Greece, the never-ending question of identity, who we are, are we part of East or West or in between, are we the same with the ancient ancestors? I don't think they look like a thing now, I think I go, whatever. Uh, are we closer to the Balkans? What do we serve? Who do we want to be? And of course, how do we fantasize ourselves and can we fantasize ourselves without taking into consideration the others? Introversion with definition, introversion with definition, looking inwards is a demand. The rhythm, the past recipe of a country, its renegotiation lead us. Who are we and which is our direction? There are also the communication and the self-determination issues and the issue of the coexistence 
between East and Western way of thinking, issues that creates experiences and has not found yet the way to deal with. In my impact analysis, seems like a renewal. It is as we, if we are trying to see their own concerns in relation to these issues. As if we are remembered that as neighbors we have a lot in common. All these and many, many more things, uh, is that the things that we talk about a lot, and uh, we went up with the title bound. There is no doubt this is a title. The moment that our words overlapped, there was that was created for me. And the concept. I'm reading from the text of the exhibition. Given that the issue of whether reforming identities is constantly present in the Balkan region, where historical, racial, political, gender, artistic, and theological terms are at stake, the exhibition explores the interrelationship of participants within this reality of continuous truth, their interaction with, and their attitudes towards it. And then, satisfied that we found what we wanted to search and achieve, the marathon started. As we began, obstacles, limits, and restrictions started appearing one after the other. Seeing what mainly on the internet, on the one hand, was convenient and helpful, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to see and find so many Balkan artists. But artworks, many times, are physical objects, and seeing them through a flat screen and mediated through photography, you end up having a distorted image of it. Our work is speaking, we wanted to see that white gay young Balkan artists in counterpoint with white gay young British artists. Apparently, although Balkan countries are so close, we couldn't find artists that have done something in this and have a contact through a gallery or a foundation in general. Perhaps because both Greeks and Balkans were looking towards the Western dream, trying to reach artists via email. Many times we didn't get any response or negative one. Perhaps the exhibition was not considered too ambitious and also we didn't know uh, what that mean was about in order to encourage them to participate. Others demanded fees to present their work from a non-profit project space in time of crisis. The solution came from another restriction, uh, money, money as usual. The newspapers that write the elections will be held on April 29. So since we couldn't afford to pay for travel expenses, and of course no way to ask for funding in a country where everything was collapsing financially, socially, politically, funding really was always problematic, especially on cultural issues, we had to compromise. The compromise was to choose media-based works, video, video performances, photography, animation, etc. Sculptures, installation, and live performance came only from Greek artists and find ways on how to install them in order to have a pluralistic in terms of visual and just exhibition. But where from and how can we find various technical equipment? And the answer came from what people call solidarity, a term that is very mainstream, if I'm allowed to use it nowadays. Apart from the given space of open source studio and its infrastructure, informally a group network of friends, colleagues, friends of friends were activated. Here I have to mention also and thank me. And suddenly during the installation of the show we had all the technical equipment we needed and also let's say a group of expertise technicians. No funding at all. Friction were inevitable between us, a solve such situation. We wanted to have a final result of high quality, but difficulties were arising one after the other. We knew this from the beginning, but it is different when you plan something theoretically, and very different when you realize that the expenses are always above what you thought in the first place. A problem that every government has to deal with. Speaking about the government, one of the issues that came up is the Greek elections and the political situation in that period. The newspapers write that the election will be held on May 12. The election trailer. Mass media was spreading panic for the early elections in Greece, so early that it would be unconstitutional. The elections coincided with the opening day. <laughs> the open shows to view due to its central location will be precluded by demonstrations and access to the city center would be very difficult. Voting seems more valuable than ever. First public suicide in Sitakma Square. Where could somebody find the mood to work properly? We had to set a new date, 
the parliament couldn't decide neither way. This made us seem inconsistent. Debates and discussions over and over again caught news deadline. The newspapers write that elections will be held on May 6th. Final decision. We fought immediately. I was, I was hoping that we got off the stigma of the unorganized grief. The next moment we had to the next moment we had a positive re response from an artist, a necessary boost. I might sound cynical, but my way of dealing with the political situation was and still is the creativity in general. Uh, my only fear is not to allow myself to fear. It is not always a cheat. I am as fragile as all of us. I cannot imagine people and myself giving up our positive thinking, our creativity, our hopes, and just stand still from the fear of an unknown future. I see this exhibition as a positive answer to what was and still is happening. An exhibition with words that they attempt to recontextualize the constituent history and meaning of this user's site. Full of humor and sarcasm since it is a way to exercise and deal with things that they seem unexcelled. And finally with words that they weren't self-referential, words that are open to the world outside art, but also trying to create new ways of seeing and participating in visual dialogue. If you ask me personally if I want to do it again, the first answer would be no. Yes, this exhibition should, should have never be attended according to common sense. But then if you give me some time, I might think it over again. In the end, I'm not sure who I am, and I'm always different depending on the context and who is next to me. I am in a constant flux because I'm a human being. So posing the question again, and the answer could be yes, I said yes, I will yes, we will all be it. Thank you. Because I'm an artist, 
And I named the project Interarios, which means among others in Latin. As everybody say, everything sounds more impressive in Latin. In this collaborative <coughs> art group, the artist had created the pages under the theme of common blood, cultural components, but also the common collective consciousness set by the Mediterranean countries. There is a text in that wonderful pink catalog that uh, we have taken yesterday and also in their uh, site about the concept, so I don't want to say more about that. The whole thing, it was a text that I have sent to the artist uh, in order to create the page. Uh, but I believe, because there are very rare opportunities for Greek artists to present their work abroad, I will use my eight minutes to for their advantage. So I have asked uh, this artist to design the pages that usually work with many different media and different approach. These are the artists. Uh, I was interested to see how uh, if I would give them uh, a thing and I would give them uh, the same size what they would come up. So the most of them actually they were inspired with the geographical aspect, dance in the history of Mediterranean, and of course the crisis. So this is a work of the Sixers Makopoulos. In his work, Metis is great, he is using the technology of 3D scanning in order to make a sequence of a replica of a Greek Roman sculpture souvenir. As Makopoulos is trying to make a sarcastic comment, of the use of the Western uh, culture, uh, cultural history by creating a strictest bar atmosphere around the statue that's actually a symbol of Western national art. This is a work of Alexis Ablamis. In his work, he investigates the meaning of refuge and how it is manifest in the collective unconscious. The refuge are places that provide the feeling of security, and according to Ablamis, he exists in almost everywhere in Mediterranean. The viewer is invited to imagine himself places like Paris and feel like home. This is Adonis Volonaki's work. Actually, the random association of words and music is a private point of Volonaki's project. There are 23 countries in the Mediterranean region that have olive groves. The project's procedure for Volonaki was to ask uh, a visual artist one of each country to send him a song that contains the word only. The upside down Mediterranean map was created like a spinning gesture of uh, DJ Remix Fruit. There is actually an interesting MB3 uh, that uh, it has really nice traditional songs around all Mediterranean and I was tempted to put that for eight minutes and not show anything, but I'm here. This is Yannis Pelvoriadi. Okay, I will be fair. By his work, he wanted to make a, a comment in the difficult and rather crucial situation in Greece and most Mediterranean countries. This is Yulia Kuchaitos, always challenged and uh, her work on this challenge with critique uh, the component of seeing and perceiving artworks when displayed with the museums. And in these works, is highlighting the collective aspect of our visit today. Eva Marfaki, she's using her passport photograph, hiding her eyes in a way that usually the media books something, uh, block something suspicious something forbidden for the public to see. Again, it's a comment about the crisis and the situation and how all these Mediterranean countries are received right now. This is Athena Nicolaou, <coughs> is that she's using um, uh, as inspiration the nation uh, history as a smacopulous. In this case, she creates a collage that looks like a typical cup of style with the poem of George Ferris, which focuses on the relationship of people, places, and historical and cultural connection with them. This is the work of uh, John Tabatos, who wrote its title for Fantelis Bulgaris, well-known movie, called Happy Day. 
It's a metaphor for the imposed condition, behavior, acts without reason, without purpose, without producing any real need of them. This is Nikos Papadopoulos that has used an image of a safe for ladies, which is actually a war safe, and it has used uh, from, for, uh, from Phoenix, uh, Greeks, Romans, as an example of influence among the people, but also of the art of of war around Mediterranean. And this is my piece, uh, but I, I wanted to create an alternative and tiny new map of Mediterranean, say, by making collage from carpets from all uh, Mediterranean countries, where result it was a mosaic with many different patterns. And these are photographs, how it was installed in the open studio, uh, so studio space in Athens in June. So that's all. Is it? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Question. So, can I add something that uh, Sophia? Like <laughs> because Sophia couldn't be here, and um, she's seen who's running uh, this artist project space. She just asked us to photocopy the text, so we will give you the copy afterwards. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, just a quick question for uh, uh, Artemis. Uh, taking a uh, uh, starting point, uh, your own work and, and the one by Don Nicola Nikes, was there also a conscious effort to uh, stress uh, in, in this uh, talk about the Mediterranean, if you like, the fact that uh, uh, on, the, on the European side of the Mediterranean we tend to uh, ignore really the, the, the rest of the Mediterranean, which is not Europe. And, and I like the fact that you turned the map upside down, and I like how you, you did that collage with, with the carpets that remind us more of what you call the Middle East right now, Europe. And I was wondering whether that was uh, a bit conscious of your part. Uh, of course it is. For example, there is a lot of discussion in Greece, especially in Thessaloniki, uh, but if, for example, Greece is a part of Balkans or ba a part of uh, Mediterranean, we are still forgetting that we are always focusing in Europe. But Greece was, uh, there was a whole history behind it. Uh, it was all this trade and um, uh, knowledge exchange to Mediterranean. So it was there much, much before Europe had taken any power. So, both me and Solo Life is abused that. Yeah, of course, it's a great point. Yeah. Uh, two, two short questions. One is uh, about the uh, so, Solana. Mm -hmm. Where is this space and how did you get it? Because it's difficult to get such big spaces. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> Well, no, spaces in Greece are much, much bigger than you know, we used to see in you know, London, Paris, today, anyway. So, yeah, this, this space um, is in the center of Athens. Sophia, the other curator, the girl that she couldn't be here, was renting it with her own expenses. Uh, so, she would pay the electricity, she, she made the yeah, the rent, everything. So, uh, which almost like her studio, in one sense. Yes, he was getting it also in the studio, and he, he had it for uh, three, two or three years, but now he had to leave it. So, open so studio is like my platform, because she, she can't afford anymore to do it all by herself and have all the responsibility. And uh, just uh, a short second one for for uh, things. Eva, the work of Eva, uh, reminded me uh, reminded me of something that happened recently with uh, uh, in Athens, in Greece, for the scandal with the identities of uh, the personal, uh, yeah. yes, of people uh, in the AIDS, the people that were giving public in the media, it was a big scandal. Was the relationship or? Actually, I don't think so. I have to ask probably Eva if uh, she had the interest for that. But I think that she wanted to show that, um, you know, by hiding their eyes, it's something like, but right now, when we are going somewhere in another country, we are feeling embarrassing that we are Greeks. So it's 
about yields that would have destroyed the whole of Europe and who were trying to hide the whole thing. I think, and I want to make a small statement that um, if that project had been done these days, it would have been completely different because from the 10 artists that have participated in the project, the three of them now they are immigrants in other places. The one in Korea, the one in England, and the other in New York. There's a last question from uh, George, and uh, then we have to move on. Okay. Uh, thank you. It doesn't matter. I speak loud. Uh, it's on. Okay. I will speak loud. Uh, I think you raised some. You may have raised some interesting issues from from my reading um, during your presentation. You talk a lot about the the current financial condition and so on. Um, and usually at times and geographies of crisis, let's say, where there are political, social, and financial, possibly other types of crises, we've seen some amazing emergence of art, and I can give you a lot of examples in the kind of late 20th century, Berlin during the Cold War, um, Ireland, Dublin was a rundown city in the 1980s, Northern Ireland, amazing, um, a young artist generation coming out of the conflict, if you like, of the um, internal conflict. One can possibly talk about Iraq currently and, and, the, and the kind of challenges. Maybe Israel as well over the last 20 years, amazing filmmakers. And have you thought of ways or can you work towards a concept where the, the apparent lack of resources can also force a, a, a series of stimuli and a new type of art coming out of Greece. So the, the same condition that apparently might appear to suppress creativity might in fact have exactly the opposite uh, effect. And maybe as artists and curators can, in your own uh, possibilities, um, be part of this potentially emerging new Greek art? Or am I an optimist? <laughs> I'm a romantic. I, I, no, I, I don't think that we are romantic. I really believe that a lot of things are changing in the world right now. Of course, we will be able to record it after 10 years because it's happening right now. I think that a lot of world are more activist right now. There, there's the end of the classy art of a big, huge world that they are cost a lot of money, but there are a lot of concepts in them. And there are a lot of things that are happening in the streets. There are a lot of graffitis, like, uh, for example, I have used yesterday, um, in a small discussion, I was telling that there are some poems, for some uh, people that write poems, and they are, have done the code as a code, and they have put it in many different places around the city, so people with smartphones so can go on to read them. So, of course, artists will have to invent a new era. And that probably will happen. And Greece will be a very interesting place to be and create. And yeah, and, uh, one thing that's quite interesting uh, was that some years ago, uh, the Greek artists <coughs> didn't work together, didn't collaborate. But now we are full of platforms, group of artists. People thinking and creating together. So yes, probably in ten years' time we will be here and we will affect the vehicle with the cards. I hope so, at least. I'm romantic as well. Uh, 